What's up, YouTube friends? Welcome to my Sunday videos where I show you the behind the scenes of what it's like to run a business as an influencer. On Wednesdays, we do educational type stuff, which like, that's fine and all, but Sundays are fun days, right? This past week, I spoke at a conference, as you could tell by this huge mess, because we were gone for a few days and we still haven't cleaned it up, which is fine. That's normal, right? Last week, I spoke at the Social Media Marketing World Conference and it was my first time speaking. I was so nervous, but it was a lot of fun. Let me show you. Modern Millie on YouTube, Instagram, Judy Fox, everywhere. He just me. He just I said Jessica. <laughs> YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. It's okay. Just filming? Because you never know <laughs> when it's going to make it onto social media. Wasn't that fun looking? Didn't that just look like a blast? I'm so excited to share with you some of my biggest takeaways from the conference. But first, I want to say a huge thank you to this video sponsor, Epidemic Sound. As you saw from that cool B-roll sequence showing me speaking at the conference and all the behind the scenes, the music that was playing in the background was from Epidemic Sound. I've had an Epidemic Sound account for two years. Even my husband, he owns a video production company and he has an account to Epidemic Sound as well. We literally have two Epidemic Sound accounts. <laughs> we could probably just have one other saying it, but, but it's fine, it's fine. We love them, we support them. Epidemic Sound is a great place to go to get royalty-free music for whatever it is that you're creating, whether it's YouTube videos, music videos, what have you. They have licenses for everything that you're looking for. Inside of my Epidemic Sound account, I love to search for specific style audios, specifically for these Sunday videos. Now that I'm doing vlog style videos, I love searching through the vlog section. So you can click vlog and then you have the different categories of vlogs. So I can do like lifestyle vlog or lifestyle vlog. And then from that list of sounds, if I see a sound that I like and I'm like, ooh, this is so close to what I'm looking for, but not quite it. There's an option where you can find a similar sound to that sound which is just ridiculously convenient. So nice, you could add it to your playlist, create a list of all of your favorite sounds and use them in whatever it is you're doing. I love doing this for background music, B-roll, especially here on YouTube with all of like the copyright and licensing issues that can come up. I know that when I'm using Epidemic Sound, my videos aren't going to get flagged so I can monetize them and make as much money as possible as a creator. So if you're looking for a place where you can get this type of music, royalty-free music, I highly recommend Epidemic Sound. I'll be sure to leave a limited time link down below where you can get a 30-day free trial no risk, you could cancel at any time and test out. See if it works well for you and your business. Let's talk about the conference. Being at Social Media Marketing World, I learned a lot. First of all, this was like my first social media conference that I've ever been to, ever, period. It was really cool being offered the opportunity to speak, especially being such a baby in the industry. It's funny because all my followers, all of you, you hype me up all the time and make me feel so special. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like a real YouTuber, this is great. But then like being at the conference with all these big name people and other people that I've been watching for years, some people are like, oh yeah, I've spoken at the conference for the past nine years. And then I'm like, I did the baby. I did the baby. If you know, you know. That was like my theme sound for the entire conference week. I just the baby. Cause I didn't know what I was doing. First time speaking ever. I would say this conference confirmed a few things for me. One, I enjoy speaking. That was the easiest part. It was like the networking and creating the slides that was the exhausting part for me. But teaching was like, I was in my element. I just went on stage and it was so easy and I loved it. I had so much fun speaking. Two, conferences are draining, especially for somebody who's naturally an introverted person. I'm sure it's hard to tell because on YouTube, I'm like, oh, so expressive, but like, it's just me here in my house, not entertaining anybody but myself. 
which is great. But being at a conference, especially like the first time being around people since COVID took a lot of energy from me, a lot of extroverted energy. And I feel like I'm still recouping from that, even though it's been Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, it's been six days. Wow. Yeah, I feel like I'm still trying to de-stress and I still feel a little like fuzzy in the brain from all the extroverted energy that I put out. I also learned that there's a lot more room for growth with my business and it's intimidating and exciting. Here, let's walk and talk. Earlier this year when I was doing my New Year's goals, I couldn't think of anything. It was just this weird realization that I hit all of the goals that I've ever wanted to hit. Like I've always dreamed of having 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I've always dreamed of launching a course and like these big dreams I hit. And so setting New Year's goals, I was like, <laughs> I don't know, I need to dream bigger now. Like it was this realization like, okay, Millie, it's time to dream bigger. What's the next thing for you? And I haven't been able to answer that for a while, but that's why the conference was so great because I got to see so many other people and their business styles, their business types. And it really opened my eyes to a lot of other options for the way my business could go or the direction my business could go. So even though I am just a baby, I get your baby. it's like my business is what? two years old, which is a baby compared to people who have been in the industry for 10 years. It's exciting to know like this is just the beginning and it's going to get better and better from here. Finally, it was so great meeting other YouTubers and other people I look up to. And I got to meet a lot of YouTube followers. Something that I wish I was better at was being in the moment. It was my first conference ever. I didn't speak until the very last day. So I feel like everybody that I had met before speaking, my attention wasn't ever 100% on them. And that's something that I regret. I wish that I was able to kind of be in the moment and connect with people on a more personal level. Like Doc, freaking Doc. I gotta, I gotta message you. Sweetest human being ever. Love the Aloha stickers. Like we love Hawaii. So when you came up, I don't know if you're watching this, but when you came up and you're like, oh my gosh, hi Millie. And I met you. Like I wish I wasn't so in my head of like, I have to speak today. Are my slides gonna look good? Da, da, da. Like that was in the back of my mind and I, I just wish that I was able to take a moment and connect with people a little bit better. So that's something that I learned about myself is even though in the moment I thought I was doing a good job of like, hi, oh my gosh, like nice to meet you. How are you? Blah, blah, blah. But reflecting back, I was like, I did not get into that moment with those people. And that's something that I wish I did better. I met so many amazing people. I met Jess finally in person. We were already like talking on Instagram, but Jessica Stan Stansberry, if you don't follow her, you should. Met her. I met Sean Cannell. We did two podcast interviews together. Got to meet Elise Starma and Mandy and uh, just, I can't, I can't name all the people. There's too many, literally everyone. There's just so many amazing people there that I got to meet and that I look up to. So it was really inspiring being like, wow, it's weird. Why was I considered to speak? Why me? Just really cool, really cool opportunity. I would love to do it again. Speaking was so much fun. I spoke on how to build confidence in front of the camera, which wasn't my number one topic choice. I think I sent three topics and how to build confidence in front of the camera was the last option of like, I don't really want to talk about this, but I will. And then of course I get that topic picked. So I'm like, okay, we got to figure this out. I know there wasn't like a point to this video, but that's the point of like Sunday vlogs is just like talking about the things that I did in my business and the things that I'm doing and my thoughts. And I'm so excited for it because this is way more fun for me than having to like sit down and script and be analytical of like all of my YouTube talking points. Blah, 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 blah. So I love these videos and I hope you do too. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed, be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my videos. Give this video a thumbs up because it definitely helps me and my channel out. If you wanna support my business, that's something free that you could do. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Wednesday. Follow your joy, bye.